Hi, Bonnie. Good morning, Ray. How are you? Good. Good. Happy New Year to you. Thank you, and to you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, we miss you here in Toronto. Are you going to come back soon? I hope so. I like Toronto. Yeah, because you didn't come for the film festival for this movie, uh, and that's not good. Uh, yeah, they didn't invite me, I guess. I didn't even know it was there, to tell you the truth. Well, I will next time personally send out an invite for Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Um, congratulations on this. I, I always love you. Love seeing you play these types of roles. But oh, first off, you know, were you familiar with C.D. Payne's novel at all? No, not at all. And I th I'm still not. Oh. I haven't read it. Uh, I have no idea. So what it. was it about this script that, you know, that kind of turned you on to the role? You know, it was just... It was just something to do. It was just a few <laughs> days on, on this particular movie. Uh, I'd seen Michael Serra in a couple of things, and I liked him. Uh, but it was one of those things that my agent represented the director, and there was an opportunity to work a few days on this. So I just said, what the heck? Yeah, what the heck? And it's a fun role. I mean, Lance is, you know, he's. I, I would call him a piece of work. How would you describe him? Uh, I, th I think that's app, piece of work. <laughs> He's fun. He's fun. You uh, get to um, treat our poor, you know, local boy, Michael Sarah, not so nicely, Ray. You know, do you ever feel bad about doing those types of things? No, not at all. <laughs> no conscience at all? No. I, I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I don't, I'm not like that in my real life, so <laughs> yeah. obviously to do that, to play pretend, uh, it's just always, it's, it's fun to do. How do you master it so well? I got to know your secret. You've been doing it well, so well for so many years. It just keeps better, getting better and better. Oh, I, I just you know, good directors, good scripts. You just kind of lend yourself to that, play make believe, and then you just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, um, Michael, ta tell me about working with this kid because, as, as I told you, he's, you know he's from here, he's hometown boy, and he, you know, I, I, when I saw this film back at the film festival in September, I, I just go, you know, nobody can de deliver a line like Michael Sarah. He just has this way about him. What you know impressed you about him? Uh, uh, he's really smart. He, he definitely allows himself to do what the script tells him to do. He, he's very unique. I don't think there's many people that I could think of that are like him that are working at that age. Uh, and he just has this whole unique delivery, but he's really, really smart. He's very savvy about the choices he's been making. Uh, and I think, you know, I'm sure he could be in this. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts directing soon. He's just a smart kid. Yeah, very smart kid. And I love seeing the fact that we see a whole other side to him. We never, we always see the sweet Michael right. Sarah. We, you know, we get to see a little bit of a rebellion. What, what side of him did you enjoy watching when he was making this film? Uh, both, both. I kind of like more the, 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 not the bad guy in it. I kind of like his little stumbling, sweet character that he plays. I mean, it was nice to see him do this other thing, but, uh, and I, I loved him in Superbad. Yeah. The truth. He's hilarious. Very, very funny. Now, I understand, um, when I interviewed Miguel when he was here, the director, he said that he was inspired to actually make films because of your performance in Something Wild. Had you heard that? No, I had not. Well, that's a very big compliment, don't you think? Yeah, that's really nice. But what was it like to work with this guy? He was great. He was great. Um, yeah, again, you know, he, they, I like working with people who love to play pretend and to create this, this make-believe situation and make it seem like it's happening. And he just lent himself to that. He was very open about what we had to, you know, the, the, the choices and some of the things that we wanted to do. Maybe it wasn't something that he was thinking about doing, but he's open enough to... to you know, to, to hear it and, and maybe change things. Were you a youth in revolt growing up? No, not at all. You were a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, listen to your parents. Exactly. Yes. Always good. Very good. You'll see, this is why you're so good in these bad boy roles, as you say. Well, that's why I like them, because it's something that I'm not. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was thinking about it, and I go, I cannot believe that it's been 20 years since Goodfellas. I actually remember doing that junket. Oh, my gosh. Really? Can you even think back on the, those days and go, you know, what it did for you in your career and what an amazing opportunity it was to be in that film? I mean, yeah. Do I think about it? Yeah. And do I remember it? I, I remember, though, pretty much all the movies I've made. You know, you always, something stays fresh in your memory based on how important and how it impacted upon you. And being that was just my fourth movie, and uh, I was working with with you know people that I looked up to and, and wanted to emulate, it, yeah, it, it it definitely resonates for me still. Well, good stuff. Well, congratulations on everything again, and uh, it was so great to see you in this film. I, I really enjoyed your performance, okay. and uh, I look forward to all the. Uh, I think you have fifty or sixty more movies coming out this year. Is that <laughs> I think correct? So, yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> okay. Always good to talk to you, Ray. Have a great day. Okay, thanks, Bonnie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.